Welcome to the Unknown Angler. I'll be tying a craft for baitfish today. On a recent trip to Florida, this quickly became my go-to fly. The hook I'll be using are the Mustang Tarpon Short Shank 2 odds. I'll be using two different sizes in craft fur brushes, but the 5 inch and the 1 and a half inch. Let's begin this fly by saying that you don't need to use craft, craft fur brushes uh, to tie this fly, but man, they make it simple. So, and if you're not going to tie too many of them, it's worth uh, doing the investment and buying a couple of the craft fur brushes. First of all, you start out with plain old craft fur and you form a tail with it, uh, just cut it off. And then you add some kind of flash. Uh, I personally like uh, the thin flashaboo. It moves well in the water. It gives you plenty of flash. Don't over flash it. Don't over flash this fly. Um, really doesn't need it. Uh, I'll, I'll use uh, three strands uh, and uh, on either side. And uh, that works just fine. The next step is to set up the base of the fly which in this case I'm going to use a 5 inch craft fur brush. Uh, when you tie these in, tie them like you would tie a wet fly hackle. If you're not used to doing that, basically pull all the fibers back as you're wrapping forward and keep doing that. <clears throat> what this will do is it'll keep the fibers from getting too bunched up. They're going to get bunched up anyway, but it'll, it'll keep them from getting too bunched up as you're tying the fly. Uh, and then you can tie that off. And once you've got it tied off, <clears throat> pick it out with a opkin, a dubbing needle. And just pick it out nicely all the way around. Just keep going at it until everything is nice and unfurled. And then you just pull everything back and it forms a really nice body you can see there. Now I'm going to tie the shorter crafter brush and this one's actually called a minnow head um, <coughs> crafter brush. It's, a, it's an inch and a half brush. It's much much shorter than the last one uh, and basically you just wrap that the same way uh, get it wrapped all the way around and leave a lot of room there at the head. A lot meaning you know don't tie it all the way up to the eye and then try to and try to pull it back Tie, and tie, tie, it, tie it close to the eye, maybe an eye length back, and then wrap in a nice head. And at this point you can finish off the head and just kind of whip finish it. Now I buy these eyebrow brushes from Amazon. And it is a great tool to be able to pick out the fly with. Just brush everything back. Just keep going at it until really everything is all unknotted and uh, picked right out. And then just pull everything back. Actually the next part <coughs> is probably the hardest part of tying the fly. Which is getting the eyes on and getting them on well. I start right out with a dab of uh, UV epoxy, put the eye on, and then cure it with the flashlight. And usually those will stay right in place. Now you're not trying to put a whole bunch on there, just a small drop, so that when you put the eye on, it just pushes a little bit out around the eye. And then you can just basically get those eyes squared up and hit it with the flashlight. Of course, once that's all done, you can start adding much more epoxy to it. And I like to add a little bit on top. Don't overdo it. <coughs> don't let it leach up into the craft fur. Uh, don't let it get all over the place. You're just trying to finish off the head and to fix the eyes. there's any stray pieces sticking out, just take and cut them off with a pair of scissors or fingernail clippers. And then put a generous coating. Now, I'm putting a generous coating on after I put a bunch of epoxy on there already, so it's not leaching back into the craft fur. 
so you get a good firm base. And that's it. All done.